Hey, we are back for match four. Uh, we are currently 2-1 with Green White Depths. Uh, and not doing too bad. So up against Captain Morgan. Not too sure what they're on. Uh, I believe we've played against Captain Morgan before in a few leagues. So it'll be interesting to see what they are on. Uh, for those of you who are unaware of who I am, my name is Dukes on Twitch. Uh, I usually stream Legacy on Wednesday nights, Australian Eastern Standard Time. And... Uh, Sunday mornings at around 10 a.m. This hand's interesting. I do like the mock start with the second stage and also green sun, so I'm going to keep this. The Tomic's a little bit rough because we need a white source, but uh, I think we can find that pretty pretty easily. If we're up against something like Storm, I think our best draw is just Mox Diamond, so we can hopefully double Mox Diamond land green suns for two for Gadok Teak turn one. But, you know, there's, there's some other options that we have, luckily. I didn't see Ponder. Okay. They're down to one, two cards. They multi five, it looks like. Mulligan to six, okay. Ah, because they drew a card off the Ponder, of course. Maze of Earth. Maybe that's an easy card we can pitch. So maybe here we go... Forest, Mox, pitch the Maze, and then just pass, sadly. If they are on Storm, I want to keep this Green Suns back for now. Thoughtseize is pretty good. Most likely taking green suns here. But having a good look, so, you know, only storm is definitely not the, uh, the only call that could be made here. But ponder into Thoughtseize. Taking Remin up. Interesting. Maybe another Thoughtseize. Dress. Okay. Rough. Safekeeper. Which we can cast... But now our, our opponent has uh, some pretty good information about what's in hand. <laughs> wow, just a pass back. Okay. Knight. Knight is pretty strong. Especially because it also turns on Bajookabog, which is nice. We can also attack here with the Sylvan Safekeeper and also have a Thespian stage back. So our opponent kind of has like a one turn clock here, or a, a one or two turns, because this knight also represents Dark Depths. Alright, brainstorm for my opponent. Four cards and nothing. Okay. Windswept. Definitely play this. We also have no, more than enough mana here to... Because with Tendrils, the kill isn't that different between 20 and 19. I'm happy to fetch here for a Savannah. And then we can cast Tomic. And also have the option to combo at the end of their turn. Brainstorm, okay. Here's the graveyard.
four cards in hand. Okay, another brainstorm. Interesting. But no fetch, so just trying to deal a bit deeper, and they couldn't get there. So, luckily, we get game one. Uh, this is going to be quite interesting. So I like Veil of Summer. I like Collector Oof. I like Thalia. I like Surgical. Um, I'm not sure about how good Fairy Macabre is and Force of Vigor. I think it's better just to take out some of the the cards that we don't really care about. So, um, give. Uh, I think Maze can definitely come out. Maybe one one or two knights. I think that Collector Oof does more than enough against their uh, fast mana, so Force isn't really a concern. And then Surgical is just so good, along with Scavenging Ooze, to hit their graveyard, along with Bajookabog, of course, as well. Um, so I don't think it's worth bringing in the Fairy Macabs. It really only stops the Past and Flames line and may be able to get them with like Cabal uh, Ritual and turn off Threshold, so I'm happy just running this back and, and seeing how it goes. Um, I'm actually doing a primer for Green White Depths on the greensunzenith.com, so that should hopefully actually be out tonight. I uh, just want to finish up some things and hear back from some uh, kind of well-known players for the deck and their opinions on some of uh, the topics they'll be discussing, so definitely keep an eye out for, for that one. I think we have a pretty good matchup post sideboard. Um, it, I think Storm can be a little bit rough game one, especially with Teague and Bajooka Bog kind of being our only two outs. Um, other than our opponent just whipping like they did just then. Um, so pretty, pretty lucky to get game one there without actually putting really too much pressure on the board. Elvish Reclaim has been really nice. Um, I think it's a card that, uh, that pretty much all the decks have adopted uh, in sort of the green-white archetype. So from Hogak Depths to green-black to Turbo Depths to uh, Naya Depths as well, which has been showing up a bit. Um, I think this hand is fine. We have Thalia and two green suns, which is really nice. So I'm happy to keep this. We also have the option to turn one forest and then... Uh, crop away for an uh, Ancient Tomb so that turn 2 we can actually green suns for Gadok Teague, which is pretty brutal. And then we have one left over for, for Jukabog if we really want it. Another Thalia. Let's go for Forest Pass. Uh, Thoughtseize is fine. That's pretty funny. That's a misspell. They probably take one Green Suns, and then try to maybe get the other one. So if we draw into a land, maybe I actually like playing Thalia next turn off the Ancient Tomb. And then going for Gadok Teague the turn after. And just a pass from our opponent. So yeah, I think Thalia is definitely coming down. Another Green Suns. 
Does that change anything? I think it does. Hmm. No, I think I'm still happy going with Thalia this turn. Just because it means they can't interact with, like, Chain of Vapor in our end step on, on Gadok Teague. And if their plan was to maybe Duress or Thought Teaser us again, we just drew the second Green Sun, so... That's always nice. Safekeeper. Interesting. Definitely attack first. Safekeeper is nice because it also saves us from a massacre. If we really wanted to, we could sacrifice the Savannah so that we don't have a planes around so they can't actually cast anything for free. It looks like just a pass back from my opponent, so... Hopefully a land here kind of locks it up with, uh, with Green Sun Zenith. That's not the right land. <laughs> um, but we'll definitely play it. Can definitely attack with both there. That's just a little bit of a misplay, not attacking with the Sylvan Safekeeper here as well. But I do like the Depths because it means we can either sacrifice it to the Crop Rotation or the Sylvan Safekeeper. So there is merit to... Uh, playing that Dark Depths there. So here we probably see a Brainstorm. Okay. I wouldn't expect a, um, a Bounce spell because of the Sylvan Safekeeper here. So yeah, if I if I really wanted to turn around, uh, play around Massacre here, I could crop rotation this Savannah into a Horizon Canopy, because it's still a green white source, but it doesn't have the uh, it doesn't have planes on it, so Massacre wouldn't be free. But I think we're still in a position where I'm pretty happy to uh, just keep playing how we're playing. I think if they just pass, we'll crop rotation away this Dark Depths for another mana source, so that the following turn we can actually cast Green Suns in as for X equals two, while paying. The, uh, the Thali attacks as well. So, opponent having a pretty good think here. They will have access to a full hand of seven when they are untapped. So, um, you know, it's it's definitely in the books that they could go off here, but uh, I would I would hope not. <laughs> so, I wonder if. I think because the, the way I lose this game is through Massacre over anything else. So maybe I actually will just crop rotate away this Savannah for Horizon Canopy, because I believe it's in the deck. Let's have a quick look. Collection. Oh, it's not. Interesting. I'm not running Horizon Canopy. I think because I dropped it for the second step. Okay. Well, that's interesting. We also have the option to just uh, go for the combo if they kill the Thalia, because we can uh, use one mana to crop rotate for a uh, Deathspin Sage and then just go off. So they can't empty us, which is nice. If they try to like kill Thalia first and go off with an Empty the Warren's plan.
There's black mana. Always scary. Put the graveyard up here. What have you got opponent? I believe they know about everything because they duressed us to take the other green sun zenith and then we drew lotus petal. So it looks like they're trying to go off here. Going to try to go off. And I think if they had massacre they would have cast it first. Interesting, okay. So now let's uh, crop rotation away dark depths and they're just going to concede so uh luckily we get there for a win uh currently 3-1 which is really nice uh so yeah let's hope for the 4-1 we'll see you in the uh, in the next game